Good morning, Sonny Hayes from Pan Investigation UK. Today's the 22nd of April 2022, and we're working again with Somerset Paranormal and Penny Wallace, who sent um, a possible EVP. I genuinely haven't listened to this um, this particular piece of audio, so we've got everything loaded up there, so we won't be messing about this more. We'll get straight into this one. Um, I tend to trust Penny's judgment. If she says she's something interesting, then there generally has to be. She's had some incredibly intriguing um, captures over recent times. So I always look forward to looking at these. So the sound file itself, it's been sampled. It's around 13 seconds of it. So what Penny's done here, it has got the audio, found out roughly where it is, it is and saved a bit before and a bit after. The ideal on a say for example a 12 second uh, piece of audio is have it roughly in the centre but she's indicated on her email that it's um, 9 to 10 seconds so it's around about there so that's fine that's okay so we'll, let's have a listen through there's no amplification done whatsoever just got the analyzer ready and I genuinely haven't done anything with this. Um, Pen is insistent. There's no amplification, no enhancement. All she's just done is cut it down, sampled it. So we should be okay. Because one of the things I'm interested in with this is recorder, is it? I think it's the Sony that um, Pen is using. When she actually did a sample for us of silence, it differed greatly to what uh, she was getting around this particular area. In, in Somerset um, there seemed to be always background noise going on and I wasn't convinced that that was just down to uh, the environment, wind noise, that type of thing. On this recording that she's done, which I presume would have been yesterday, is... Uh, no, it's today actually, because it's dated 22nd. Ah, oh, okay. Um, So with this one, um, she's actually placed a sock over the recorder. Um, if you often see interviews, for example, you see a football match, players being interviewed outside, you see like a, a foam rubber over them. And if you see the microphones that are outside, they tend to have like a, almost like a, a woolly uh, dog attached on them over the microphone. That's to stop the wind noise, which is moping this will address, uh, it's a simple fix, you just get an old sock, pop it over it and you, the uh, difference can be remarkable. So let's fire this one up, I'm just going to loop it, play it back. I have seen a photograph of your house. Well straight away I can tell that that is a much cleaner recording an outside recording that we've had before so it may well be that popping the cloth the uh, cloth or sock over it is made of a, a remarkable improvement so let's loop this bit cause I can get something there Now what I'm actually doing here, I'm looking at these particular frequencies. In the background, at around 5,000 hertz, and put that in average, there's this peak of frequency. And that there. That sounds like something, um, it's not a motorway roll because that would be more low end frequency. It sounds like some motor, something running maybe I don't know, a tractor or something like that, or a car or um so we can remove that frequency to just clean it up a bit. Because that's the best way to go with um enhancing um audio where you've got some background noise in there which could be interfering if you're listening to it clearly, I know that that is not 
voice frequency so we can take all that frequency out and it's not going to make any difference whatsoever to the um, if it is a voice it's in there so I'll put that back on to real time start it up and as I start to set UQ you'll start to hear and see the improvement I'm pretty sure it's that there, I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's what um, Pan is here and Said eight to nine seconds, nine to ten seconds, nine to ten. I'm getting it ten to eleven. I'm a second out. Um, May in fact be two on here. Um, there's something going on there with that one. This, so there may well be that is undoubtedly. We seem to get one at nine seconds, then another one at ten seconds. I think that what Pe that's what Penny's is hearing. Um, so she's right with that. That's why I want you just to make certain. Even though it's a second, I'm saying it's between it, on 11 seconds. Penny's saying it's on nine seconds, a couple of seconds different. Um, we both listened to something, and we both found something in in a different area. So that's quite intriguing. So we'll look at this one first. See how much we can improve this. That's there. It's there. That's around about. Uh, that's what it seems to be reacting to. We've already taken part of that frequency out. I'm just going to expand it just to see if that's. Yeah, even though I've taken that frequency out, I know that there it's still jumping up. It's still frequency there. That is not voice frequency. So we can in fact take all this out. Um, it's that there. So about four. Hmm, it's disappeared.
That is a strange one. I don't use noise reduction software on that. It'll just wipe it straight out. Um, there's clearly peaks of three and a half to five thousand, which is where I thought that sound was, but. When I put the frequency back in, it, it, the sound wasn't there, um, and I don't know where it is. It's not where I would expect to see a low frequency, but it's I can we can hear it. Okay, the way to deal with this is that, um, as you can hear, it's you've got this noise going on in the background. Um, and it's under that threshold of that volume of that background noise, which makes, can make it difficult to find out what it is. So what all we need to do is use an EQ we call flat, so there's no changes to it at all. We amplify it just by simply turning the volume up and we keep taking frequencies out uh, moving left to right a couple of base frequency then to the right moving in and then noted when there is a significant change to the frequency that we're listening to which is this It's just there, and to me, that sounds like something like a package, a package. That's what it sounds like to me, but again, I'm never too concerned with um, words that are not that easily decipherable, because Penny, Wallace will have her own opinion on what she can hear. Someone else will have a different opinion. That's what it got. That's the territory. So we may it may become cleaner or uh, clearer as we go with this. So let's uh, turn this up. It's going to get a little bit noisy now. Hmm.
it's in Kirby low grade. Um, it, it, you know, it, it is in fold frequency. I've, I've, I've relatively no doubt that uh, I've always cars in it. Um, it was spiritual or a, just a human. Um, Penny is quite good at sanitising an area. So if she's there with a the partner, the partner does have an habit of um, remaining quiet. Um, there's something there without a question, I think, is regard to this particular one. So what am I actually going to do with this? Um, I'm going to cut... Yeah, um, let's bring in another another track. So we're talking eight to about ten seconds. I'll take that bit there. Copy that. I'm just going to paste it in the the top one. So um, Penny can. Um, Look at that, in fact, I'm going to do it slightly differently because I've EQ'd this, haven't I? So, okay. So, what I've done is duplicated the track that it's on, then I'm just going to bring that small section of audio in. So the top one now is, uh, if you listen to that, it's just that small sample. Okay, I'll move that for a second. <clears throat> and we'll now look at the other one. Um, so that will be a little bit after, so about 10 seconds. This is one I can hear. So... I need to take all the EQ off now. Um, it's got his volume. Yeah. That's all okay. Just questions, just repeating the process, really. Okay. I can hear a voice at the end of this. I can hear a voice. <clears throat> it seems to be at nine seconds we've got the one that Penny um, had heard. We've got one at eleven seconds, the one I made, the one I'm working on. And there's something else going on at the end. So let me just take that second out. Let's just see if we can find out where that is. That's what I'm listening to. Now, if we change these and go to the end, I can hear something. Now, I have amplified this a, a, a considerable amount. So there's a lot going on there. Um, and so I'm going to have to ask Penny for a longer sample because... It just, it cuts off. Right, what I'm going to, I'm going to probably do this in part two, in two parts. I'm going to look at that one I could hear. There's something else going on there.
something else going on. Um, so it's three, three things going on in a space of <laughs> about four seconds. Um, right, okay. I need a longer section to, to find out what that is there. We've dealt with the first one, so let's go to the second one. There you go. Um, you may have noticed there that, that there were a minute to take all of 630 frequency out. So it's just 630 hertz out. Like what I did the other one, that one, the first one, is exactly the same. Um, it happened with that. Mensa dropped all 630, which is the fundamental frequency. And it's a little bit high, the the 630 but clearly um, you can hardly hear it and likewise it was 630 before Frequencies are quite important. Um, it's a little bit further right because we normally, generally, they expect to get voice in around here, which is what they call the fundamental frequencies. But in general, um, if I show you a, a graph here, you can get one of these off the internet, download the media enough. Um, we're talking 630, there, there's the hertz there, 630. So you just look up. And this is relative to the, because the voicing will change. So, for example, if we general, you know, start to talking normally, normal speech, you're raising it slightly, you're getting louder, and then you're shouting. Obviously, the frequency begins to change slightly. It moves over. So, if you look at like 630, which is really the important frequency we found on them two last samples that Penny uh, captured. We're in really into because uh, you can see these is peaking down. So if I was to look at six hundred thirty, making the fundamental difference is it has to be peaking, and it's peaking at on the purple, where the green, red, and the blue is beginning to dissipate, decay. On six thirty, it's it's its strongest male voice loud so is someone like shouting um, if you can't find anything like this you just send uh, Penny Wallace um, uh, a message on or an email and she'll, she'll pop one in the email or on the message for you I will send this to Penny it's quite handy um, and again, you, you will see differences. I should have covered that before, shouldn't I? Uh, on the females and children. So if you looked at 630, again, it's, it's a little bit lower. Um, sometimes it's difficult, but I, I think for me, I tend to go for more for 
he sounds like female, sounds more like male. Um, that's that one. That's both of them. They're both the fundamental frequencies. On both, we're 630. We'll play it again. Now we've got the sound out of our heads. Uh, you, can, you can hear it. it oh, Patty disappears. That's that one. <clears throat> and just to. We'll switch over because this. What I'm always trying to do is, is attempt to help. Uh, like mad investigators to to do a little bit more. Um, right, I'm going to go back with this, aren't I? Um, there. So, whoops. What am I doing? Right. Let's just loop that again. Okay. And you'll hear this one disappear now. If you want to be really picky, the frequency is slightly more to the left um, on this one, the first one, uh, which is more, so uh, 800, 630 on, on the second one, 800 on the other, well, the fundamental one, the one that makes the, the most significant difference. Um, and if you use the graft, is a comparison you could probably put a case up to say that the first one is female and the second one is male but what we can say without question that's a little bit mm, <clears throat> it's getting a little bit too deep into it where into the realms of the guessing what we can say <clears throat> is the frequency of both of these um, of both of these are within the voice spectrum that's key because if it's somewhere else then it's obviously not going to be voice because rest assured it doesn't matter if it's a human talking or the spiritual spirit stuff it tends to be electronic voice phenomena recorded onto um onto recorders they tend they will always be within the voice spectrum um if it's not you can tell quite quickly so what i will do is on that last one I'll sample that one, put it next to the, the first one and send them both to, to Penny. I'll also ask her to give me a longer sample so I can look into this one further. Because there's something else going on here. There's something else going on with that in the end of that. So she made quite a, quite a, I've got quite a unique um, piece of piece of footage here of within four or five seconds. She's got three separate um, uh, captures. I'm confident with the first two all the time that both of them are within the, the voice spectrum and possibly um, voices. Um, this last one I, I've, I don't know yet. So that's going to be interesting. So I will do that one as a review on part two. I'll get that off, off to um, um, Penny now anyway, particularly the audio file, file and tell her what I've, what I've listened to. And I look forward 
to uh, responses and what I will do when I get that full audio file or the longer sample I'm going to look carefully at the end of it to see if there is something else that's going on there so okay speak to you soon bye